I now want to very briefly comment on the nature of the data that you have and, and how to actually analyze it. So I'm now again focus on voice response um, questions and I'm not interested in any quantitative information that you may have also collected using voice form. Now, what you have usually is qualitative information. You get lots of text. So you need some analysis that actually, well, is based on text analysis. And one that is very useful for voice form and also like the type of content that you usually get using voice form and also the type of quantity that you get usually with voice form is qualitative content analysis, right? So this would be my first go-to method to, well, basically produce the transcripts. So that means you can use those that voice form delivers or especially like if the recording quality maybe was not so great, then the automatic transcribing usually doesn't work that well either, then you maybe need to do it by hand. So you can access all of that um, using the, the results page, right? So no, no information is lost. You always have access to the actual audio files. So use that. And then if you have like a full transcript ready, like, uh, like a content related transcript, that means we are not interested in nonverbal things that might appear uh, in the audio files, right? So if you have this content related transcript in front of you, um, then the first aim is usually to try to see, okay, what kind of sequences are actually interesting for you, right? Now, not everything what people say is of interest, but you first have to select, okay, what are the sequences that are really um, interesting to you? Then the second step usually is to paraphrase those selected sequences so that you are kind of get away from the wording that your participants used. And instead, you are using your own wording, which makes everything a bit more consistent, right? Which also means you are not using the names of concepts that people have used, but you're using the names that are relevant for your research study, for instance. Okay. Um, and then the last step already is basically to summarize each paraphrase even more by just giving it a, a headline, essentially, right? What one word or maybe two words can be used to describe the paraphrase. And that also means combining different paraphrases under the same headline. Right, so what you're getting is like, I always think about it like a funnel, right? You have lots of like the audio data um, at the front end, so to speak. Then this get already cut down to the content through the transcript. And then you move along paraphrasing it. So that means any unnecessary words, etc., they go away as well. And you, well, there's more homogeneous language across all participants. And then at the very end, you just end up with a category system where you say, okay, these are like the... I don't know, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten headlines that are most interesting for your research study. These are the main topics that have been talked about. You have examples for each of those topics, right? So that's that's also uh, nice to, to have. And that will be your content analysis, right? And I think that this is like the main approach to be used with voice forms um, because it allows you to have like large quantities of data and you can have large quantities of data using voice form. Um, at the same time, of course, it can handle qualitative data, which is, of course, important because you will mostly have words and not numbers in your data sheet. So this is my my thought about um, analysis. Um, there are other variants, of course, that you can apply of qualitative content analysis or also other methods at all that can can use qualitative data. But this is really my my go to method when it comes to qualitative analysis. That said, because we do have the opportunity, of course, also to link it up with quantitative data, I think that voice form also works very well if integrated in a, a larger scope mixed methods research design. So you could have like a quantitative survey and then have substantial qualitative information added through voice form.